how to create database and table and insert values in mysql tables hello my name is amul and in this video i'm going to show you how to create database table and insert values in your table using ubuntu terminal so i have my mysql installed already installed on my ubuntu system so i'm going to show you how you can get in i mean log in to your server so basically you simply type my s sorry what happened my s s q l and then user so username is going to be root if you have a different username you type your username and then p so once you press enter it's going to ask for the password then you have to type in the password so type password and then press enter so this is my sql terminal interface very simple elegant and fast i love it this is why i do not prefer practicing mysql on microsoft operating system i love ubuntu or any terminal uh, linux or unix okay for mysql so in this video i'm going to show you how to create database and table and insert value into table so very simple stuff okay so i'm already in the database now i want to check all the databases first of all so i'll type show databases and then end the query the command with semicolon and then press enter so these are the databases on my mysql server so before i proceed let me just clarify one more thing here and that is mysql is not a language it's a server okay it's a database server so the language is sql that's a sql query language so if you know sql query language you you can work on mysql mariadb postgresql and there are a lot of okay relational database uh, studios or servers microsoft sql server so okay now let's go get back to this again so show as databases to check all the databases on your mysql and then you want to create if you want to create a database then you type create database and the name of the database that is going to be in uppercase capitalized does not matter uh, however the k is not case sensitive language so if you type everything in lowercase will work too but this is convention okay so uh, let's do follow it create database and then the name of the database so i'm going to say my data base okay and then you end it with semicolon press enter has been created now you want to uh, check it again so go up use your up arrow key twice and you'll get the previous command that was show databases press enter you'll see your database has been created okay now you want to use this database or you want to switch to this this database specifically so that you can add table and insert values in your table so to do that you simply say use and then the name of the database so my data base and then semicolon and then press enter so it says database changed that means you are in the database now okay just quickly clear it now you want to create a table you are in the database now let's go ahead and create a table and few fields so create sorry table and the name of the table again like the database name so let's say uh, we want to create a table of books okay and then you want to have some values like fields so first one is let's say uh, this is going to be table uh, books so let's say it's going to be title and title uh value is going to be in var basically var character that that means it's a string 
then you want to okay let's do one thing uh, simplify and make it more user friendly here so that's the table name we will now create the fields and uh, determine their values and other things as well so title then it's going to be in bar char and then you want to give a limit i'm sorry c h a r that means uh, uh, character or something. and then uh, the the limit is going to be 50 you also want to say not no that means it's a mandatory field that has to be there on every book you cannot leave it blank so that that's what it means not now okay and the second thing is going to be is going to be the price i guess price is going to be integer value and again not not without price okay the, th the third thing is going to be let's say language a language is going to be bar chair sorry about this and then it its limit is going to be like let's say 50 character and then you want to say language is going to be default as english default language is going to be english okay and uh, the the other thing you want to have author name author uh, is going to be again bar switch here and then it's going to be let's say 60 character okay that's it and then already oh not now yeah uh, not now okay uh, that's it that's it and then you want to close it and enter you want to end the query that's command basically and that's it so here we go press enter and query okay now you want to see everything like the date table so for that you say this drive and the table name that's going to be books this is how it looks now we are going to insert the value to the field okay every field you see uh, this is the field type the data type no 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 yes this can be, le be left as well keys they haven't given any keys default uh, this is only the default thing i don't have anything extra now okay so now let's go ahead and insert some values so to insert you simply type insert and then you say into then in name of the uh, books then what are you going to insert so basically you're going to insert value and then you insert in the same sequence like title price language and author so the title is going to be book title and then column and the price is going to be 50 and then language is going to be let's say hindi okay and then you want to say author name so it's going to be author name that's it you want to close it and then semicolon and then press enter that's it okay to check everything you want to say let's say you want to check everything all the values with the field so you would say select everything from from what from the table so books and then say okay so you'll say this so let me do it clean. so you see now here so now it's become table so this is going to be title the book title price is going to be 50 language is hindi 
author of the name. So you can you can insert multiple values. The only one thing one thing I forgot was basically putting the ID uh, to every title uh, to every book. So this is how you can create a database, a table, and insert values in every table in MySQL using the terminal. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe for my channel. Have a good day. Goodbye for now. And learning. Goodbye.